In this video I'm showing how to remove a Hampton Bay ceiling fan. We had this installed on our master bedroom and the motor stopped working so the fan blades wouldn't turn anymore. And when I went to remove it from the ceiling I found that it didn't have screws in the places where you normally see them on other fans. So I thought I'd put together a quick video on how to remove this fan and hopefully save somebody some trouble. Of course you'll want to start by flipping the breaker and turning the power to the fan off. Just to make sure that I had the right breaker, I turned the lights on the fan on and then made sure that they went off after I flipped it. It doesn't hurt to hit it with a voltage test or two to make sure everything's turned off. So to begin removing the fan, I took the blades off first. You could probably do without the step if you wanted to, but I found that having the blades removed made it a little bit easier to maneuver the fan. And they're also covered in dust, so it makes it a little bit easier to keep the room clean. So as you can see by the top of this fan, there's not really any indication on how to remove it from the ceiling. But the trick to getting it off of the ceiling is this ring up here at the top. This is a picture of what the ring looks like from the inside, and you can see that this ring is notched so that you have to rotate it clockwise about one inch, and then the ring slides down and reveals the screws that hold the canopy to the mount that's on the ceiling. The ring might not want to come off so easily, so you might have to work it back and forth a little bit until it has enough play to slide off. And once this ring is removed, everything makes more sense, and this fan comes down just like any other fan. Hit the like button if this video was helpful, and thanks for viewing.